Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. So I just dropped my car off at the garage. Actually, you can still see it behind me. <laughs> uh, I got it done at the dealership where I got my car. Alex went to Tim Hortons because she was too hungry to wait. Got a hash brown. <laughs> it smells so freaking good. Uh, so I'll probably eat when we get home, but I do have to edit yesterday's video. I am starving though, so when we get home, I will probably want to eat because I'm pretty hungry. So I'll see, maybe I'll make myself some eggs or something. Gotta move the little fluff on top of the camera kind of in the way <laughs> so we'll see you guys at home all right so now we're going to pick up my car because it's done at the garage and then i will be off to work and do my workout beforehand alex what do you got planned for today um i have some editing and stuff to do and probably going to visit my grandma at some point that would be nice yeah it's a workout it's a beautiful day to go work out today go do your run by the park it's still a little cold though but the sun, I can feel the sun right now, it's really warm. I forgot all my sunglasses in my other car. I was going to think. Oh, I'm so tired though. But tonight, uh, tonight I'm excited because I'm going to give my old computer to my brother. And I think he's going to like it. He seemed pretty excited because he's, he's never had a laptop before. So it'll be good because, uh, I mean, I didn't know what else to do with my old one since I'm not going to be using it anymore. And it's still a really good computer. It's just for editing frequently, it's a little bit too slow. Uh, but for everything else, it's fine. It works really well. All the trees are almost unblooming though. It's so green. And then of course you get all the dandelions in the grass. I kind of think it looks cool though, especially in like public places like this. Yeah, it's just like on your front lawn. It doesn't look the best. But look at that. All the trees are turning green. I never understood that. Why is it like an ugly thing for flowers to grow in your lawn? Well, because dandelions aren't flowers. They're weeds. And they spread like crazy. How pretty would it be to have like a yellow front lawn instead of a... Like full of dandelions? Isn't that so pretty? But I think it's bad for the grass and then when the dandelions go away it comes all patchy. Oh. Uh, I think. That's why people take them out. Usually people go weeding and they dig them out. killing the flowers. But I think it looks cool in like public yards like this. Especially when there's a lot of them. Alright, got my new car. I'm off to work. Alex went back home. Beautiful day outside. I still can't get over how nice it is. Uh, gonna go do my workout. Gonna go for another swim today. I'm uh, gonna do uh, like a little bit of weights and then go for my swim because like I said in yesterday's No, the day before I'm trying to swim a little bit more so that I can get back into swimming shape So I'm ready to race for the summer. It's always a little bit different like you have to you know You could be in really good shape, but if you don't practice a specific thing You're not gonna be in shape for that thing if you understand what I mean So like you could be really really healthy and really fit, but if you never bike if you try to bike, it's gonna be really, really hard because your muscles and your body just aren't used to it. So if you're in really, really good shape but you try to swim, doesn't automatically mean you're gonna be in shape for swimming because you're not ready for it and your body's not used to it. It's different muscles, different energy systems. So I just, I need to practice a little bit more swimming. Not that I'm like super out of shape or anything, but I need to be in swimming shape for the summer to get ready to race. But uh, I'm just pulling up to the pool pretty soon, so I'll see you guys a little bit later. What's up guys? So it's the first time I'm vlogging today, just cause I haven't been feeling well all day. I don't, I didn't think I was gonna vlog at all, but I don't know, I've been feeling like kind of bad for not vlogging. I just feel so drained, like so tired. Mostly because I slept like five hours last night, which is not great, but. Also because, you know how I've been trying to incorporate gluten into my diet slowly because it didn't have any effect on me in Paris? Well, I had some today and it made me really sick. Like those sharp pains in my stomach and feeling like really, like just queasy and nauseous and just sick. So I just like laid down, kind of just watched a few videos and tried to take a nap. But I'm feeling a lot better right now just very tired like my eyes are just so tired but i feel like i should go for a long walk because a lot of the times that helps me and it just gets my circulation going and gets my heart not racing but like moving and i don't feel nauseous anymore and i don't have pains in my stomach so it's not like i'm like before i was literally curled in a ball like with so much pain but i'm pretty sure that it's kind of digested and or somewhat digested and gone through me I made sure to drink a lot of water because it was just going to help digest more, supposedly. That's what Daniel told me to do. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. 
but I really think that going for a long walk slash maybe a little jog depending how I'm feeling is going to be good. The weather outside is still terrible. It's going to be cold and rainy all week so I cannot wait to leave for Bali because I just need the sun. Like I just can't deal with this anymore. I'm so over it. Like in Paris it was summer weather. I come back to Montreal, it's cold. Leave for Bali, it's going to be obviously so hot and then I'm going to come back and it's just going to be cold again. But yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling very lazy. But it's times like these that I need to remind myself that getting up and making your body move and doing things even when you really don't feel like doing it is probably the best thing for you. Not just for your physical health, but for your mental health as well. Because it just teaches you to not be lazy, not procrastinate, get shit done basically. But as you can see, my cheeks are super, super red. Like, I don't have a fever, but I definitely am not feeling the greatest, and I'm pretty sure it's coming across on camera. But, yeah. I'll see how I feel when I get up. So, I placed an order on Revolve a few days ago because I wanted to try out this new pair of shorts. If you guys don't know, Revolve is, like, usually so, so, so quick when I order from them because I always do prepaid duties since it's international and, like, the customs always takes so long so I always just prepay them so that way they could just drop out of my house it usually comes within two business days or sometimes even one business day it's crazy but for some reason I did it for my phone this time because of the app and if you do it with the app you get 15% off sorry I'm like scratching my eyeball that's so gross <laughs> yeah so I wanted to get 15% off and for some reason like I got an email saying that it shipped but when I go to check the tracking it just says it's been um like the package has been not picked up but like they're aware that i made the purchase and they haven't started organizing it yet which is strange because normally it would be here by now so i'm wondering if it takes longer when you order from the phone or not because seriously revolve is like my favorite website to order from online not sponsored just letting you guys know i just really really like ordering from them because it comes super quick and they also have a really good like return slash exchange policy it's super simple to um send stuff back because in the box it comes with just like the prepaid thing that you just send back in the box so i want to test out this pair of shorts and i was like oh i'll have enough time before bali to try them out with some outfits and if i don't like them then i'll just send them back now i'm kind of getting worried i mean it's still only tuesday but if it's going to take two business days, hopefully they ship tomorrow because then I won't get them before Bali and that would suck so much because I just really wanted to try them out. I have a very similar pair already. The only issue is I've had them for so long that they've like not lost their color but and they're not stained. They're just like they don't feel comfortable anymore like this denim it's one teaspoon by the way and their denim is really good quality but it just like I've had it for so long and I've literally worn them so much like all the freaking time and like, everywhere I've traveled that's been hot I always wear them and I just think that they've kind of been worn out a little bit so I got a similar pair they're not exactly the same they're still like they're like an off-white slash white color it's these shorts actually oh my god I have them they're just blending in with my bed sheets. They look like this. They're the one teaspoon bandits. I love them to death, but they're, see how they're like a little bit cream color? I don't know. Probably, you probably think I'm crazy, but there's just a pair that I wanted to try out that was very similar, not exact. And I'm thinking that they'll look really good. Also, I tried on this choker before. It's from Windsor. It's awesome. I really like it. So I thought it wasn't, I didn't pack that much for Bali, but then when I tried to fit it on my carry-on, it like doesn't fit. So I'm like, great. I have to go through everything and reorganize what I'm going to bring because I only want to bring enough for like every single day that we're there. I don't want to overpack just in case I buy a few souvenirs and it's just so frustrating when you overpack and you have too much stuff and that's usually my problem is that I bring way too much stuff. So what I'm thinking, oh yeah, because one of the main reasons why it's taking up so much room is because that really nice skirt I got from Revolve is like so thick. There's so much material that when I fold it up even small and I put it in my suitcase, it takes up like half of the side where the clothing goes. So if I just took out that skirt, I would have so much more room. But I want to wear that skirt in Bali so bad, so I, like, don't know what to do. Dan has no room in his suitcase, and I'm not going to, like, ask anyone else. But I might just, like, shove it in my, my other carry-on, like, my backpack. See if that works. If not, then I'll just take my duffel bag plus my suitcase, which I think might work. I don't know. One bag has to be able to fit under the seat. 
and I think they're both too big. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah, I was gonna edit my Justin Bieber vlog today, but I've just been so tired and not feeling well that I didn't. I'll do it tomorrow. But it's gonna go up on Friday for you guys. I need to get up. I really need to get up. The struggle is real. Comment down below, team struggle. If you feel me right now, when you're just so comfortable in bed and the last thing you wanna do is get up and you're just like, okay, I need to get up. And you're like, no, I don't want to. Okay guys, I'm up. I'm changed into a shirt. Gotta put some pants on and my running shoes and then I'm gonna head out the door. But Kyla actually is just getting home. So I want her to talk to you guys about something that is super exciting that I got for her. So yeah. Okay, the reason why I wanted to vlog with Kyla. Kai, you wanna tell them what we found out today? You have a thing? <coughs> Sorry, I'm touching your face. You have a uh, thing there. Um, I'm meeting <laughs> Selena Gomez. <laughs> I'm so excited. Love you. Oh, yeah. look at him in the background. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It, it doesn't feel real. It won't yeah, until I, you're there meeting I know. her. Like, I, I still feel like it's not, like, real. Yeah, go give him attention. So, basically how this happened is, you guys know I do a lot of work with Pantene. Um, hey, hello. And so I've been working with Pantene for a while, and Selena Gomez is actually, like, the main spokesperson for Pantene. So I was asked to attend the Selena Gomez concert and take a picture with her for Pantene and I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like this is after I bought Kyle the tickets and I'm actually in Bali during her concert. So I was like, oh no. So I asked, I was like, <laughs> I was like, is there any, any way for Kyla to take my place? Like I will post the picture of them. Like I just, I really, really, really want Kyla to meet her, um, and Kat Bell is, was invited as well, so I was like, please can Kyla take my spot, like, I would literally do anything for Kyla to be able to go, because Kyla doesn't do any work with Pantene, so technically, like, it's not that it's not allowed, but it was more for, like, like, there's a cocktail event, and then there's the meet and greet with her, and the whole purpose of it was to be for, like, Pantene and stuff, because Selena does promote Pantene products. So I was like, oh my gosh, please. And so they're like, of course, of course, you're such a nice sister for doing that. So now Kyla's going in my place and she gets to meet her. And this is the one celebrity, like I said, that Kyla cares about and wants to meet and it's happening. So I'm so excited for that. You should vlog, Kyla. I think I'm going to. So she probably will vlog for her channel. I might make her send me clips to insert into like my vlog just to show that like how like her reaction and everything. Oh my god, that would just be amazing. I'm so happy for her and so excited. This is like the greatest gift I can give. If you guys don't know this about me, I'm like obsessed with giving gifts to people. Like I love to make people happy and to see them smile. So like giving really cool gifts is like one of my favorite things to do and this is probably the best gift you can give Kyla ever. Oh my god. Like, Selena Gomez and a puppy. She'll be happy forever. Like, little basset hound puppy. <laughs> Yay! That actually made me feel a lot better talking to her just then. Now I'm gonna go for my walk. But before I go, this is the situation that I'm dealing with. See how everything just comes out way taller than the actual suitcase? Like, literally, on this side I have a kimono, the dress, and the skirt and then this top, and then here I have everything else, and I still have the shorts coming in, and I have to pack, like, leggings and pajamas, so there's no way. I'm gonna have to, like, go through this and take some stuff out, which sucks so much. Then I have my bikinis and shoes on this side with my makeup, and um, that's gonna go in there. But, oh my gosh, there's, like, no room. I really didn't think I overpacked this time. It's because some things are like so thick when you fold them, like this kimono and the skirt. Like literally if I took out this kimono and the skirt, I would have so much room, but I need these two things for um, when we go to temples. Ugh. So I'll put my running shoes on, my Under Armour leggings, and I also bundled up with this sweatshirt on top because I'm gonna be cold. And then I'm ready to go. Let's do this, look how red my face is. Oh my goodness. It's like so hot too when you touch it. I definitely don't have a fever though because I don't feel sick. I just feel tired. I guess that can happen when you're tired. So my walk went really well, guys. <laughs> I'm happy. Did and you then... go for a walk right before dinner? Yeah. Oh my god, it's a Hot Wheels truck. I know. 
<laughs> and um, then Dan and I just came to Tim's to drop off Dan's old laptop and he kind of explained yeah, how to use it like, and stuff. Because my brother's always had PCs mm -hmm. his whole life. He has like desktops and stuff. He's never had a, uh, he's never had a laptop, but he's also never had a Mac. So I just want to show him a few like the, yeah. the minor details and stuff and the little differences, but then he's good with computers. He'll just Google a lot of stuff and you can figure it out. It's so cold. Yeah, it's pretty freezing. And I'm really sore, so I can't hold this up anymore. But uh, we went for a nice cute dinner with your mom too. Mm -hmm. The we, three of us. We went to this really good Vietnamese place. You guys got soup and I got some chicken with vegetables and rice. Really good. Uh, and then we went to Medjis. The broccoli was so good this time. I know. Sometimes, the their, sometimes their food is like really good. I mean, it's always good, but this time it was like really good. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit cold. It's only 11 degrees outside. It's raining. When I was walking before, my eyes kept tearing because of the wind and like it was cold. And then I was thinking, I wonder if people think I'm crying because I keep wiping <laughs> my eyes and I'm walking listening to music. Did you, uh, did you go for a walk by yourself? Well, I was going to like it was like a run but not it was a walk like a walk run or just a walk just a walk <laughs> but it's because like i was feeling so sick and i told oh, myself yeah. by walking it's probably gonna make me feel better which it did so that was good some fresh air some exercise exactly i was just cooped up all day and i just felt so sick i'm just really tired like i all i want to do is take a bath get a massage and go to, sleep. go to sleep. I was telling Alex earlier too that because I started swimming a bit, I mean, I've only swam three times since I started, but like nothing gives me an appetite after like swimming does. Like for me, swimming, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I push myself harder because I'm used to it, I don't know. But whenever I swim, like after I'm done, I have such a big appetite and I like can't stop eating. But it's not bad, like I'm, I'm obviously hungry because I probably burned off a lot, so my body's like really hungry, so I eat. But like Sunday, I went for a swim before and then we had the big barbecue at your house. I was like, just kept eating because I was so hungry. Uh, today I got home from work, I was starving because I went for a swim this afternoon. So it's just interesting. I don't know why. Maybe there's something about swimming that makes you more hungry compared well, to like- burn more calories. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. I also think it's because it's the cold. Like the cold makes your body work more because it's also like fighting to stay warm. Mm -hmm. I know I've read a bit about that stuff before. People said that like jogging during the winter is really good for you. I find it's like, when it's that cold outside, like really, really cold, when I run, it hurts my lungs to breathe. Yeah, because the air is so cold. Yeah, like it literally hurts. Yeah. So I can't run when it's that cold outside. But we are going back to Alex's house and probably do, like she said, she'll take a bath and then a massage and then bed. What's up guys, gonna bring an end to the video. What I wanted to talk about today, because I saw a lot of people leaving in the comments section um, asking about this, so I thought we'd talk about it for a little bit, was you know how to maintain and build a successful relationship. And I'm not an expert at that by any means. I, I don't claim to be an expert at that. I don't really claim to be an expert at anything, really. But basically my advice for that would just be to, you have to, you have to learn how to understand each other right? You're different people and you came from different backgrounds. You came from different upbringings. You came from different values. You came from different ideas. Maybe you came from different religions. Maybe you came from different parts of the world, but you're different people. And you need to understand that if you act a certain way and you think it wouldn't bother you, it doesn't necessarily mean that it wouldn't bother that person. You know, so let's say you don't get easily offended. So you will think that it's normal to make little jokes or comments or whatever and you're like well that's not offensive why would I think that would insult someone I'm not I wouldn't think that but that's not necessarily the same for the other person right they could be very sensitive and you saying stuff could make them upset and you might get confused because you're like but that shouldn't upset you but it it would upset them because they're different or let's say the other person has certain things that really makes them angry and for you you wouldn't understand why like it wouldn't make you angry but for them, that just, that's what it does. You know, it makes them upset. And so you'll act a certain way thinking that it won't make people angry when in reality it does make them angry, but you won't think that because it doesn't do that to you. You understand what I mean? Everyone's a little bit different. So the best thing you have to do when you're in a relationship, especially if it's uh, a boyfriend, girlfriend, but this could be the same for like brother, sister, friends, colleagues, whatever. But the best thing to do is, is to always keep an open mind and be understanding because you need to understand when to act certain ways and do certain things because just because you think it wouldn't affect you doesn't mean it won't affect them. So that, that would be my biggest advice for that. And 
you know, that sort of goes along the same things where if they do something because they think it's not wrong and they think it won't upset people, but it does upset you, you need to communicate that and say like, hey, listen, I understand for you it doesn't bother you, but for me, what you just did, it really bothers me. And you guys need to have like a clear communication with that to understand how to not like push each other's buttons or, or insult each other or upset each other or anger each other just because you have to learn how the other person reacts. So like if you have a best friend, it's the same thing. Like if your best friend's really sensitive, you shouldn't go around making jokes about them or, you know, teasing them or making fun of them. But then your other friend might be fine with it and you can go around teasing and making fun of that friend. But you have to just sort of have that communication and understanding between people to understand how to act with each other. So I hope that makes sense. But we're going to bring an end to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. Next week we're going to Bali. So I hope you guys are really excited for that. And I think what we're going to do, because we're doing like a full day of travel. So I'm not going to be able to film, edit, upload on that day. As I'm going to upload a video beforehand. So like this weekend I'm going to film it. And I think Alex, we talked about doing a Q&A. Yeah, we did one at 10k. We did one at 10k. So I think we're going to do another one at 20k. Because we're like 30 subscribers away. So I guess you guys can start leaving questions now if you want. In the comment section, you can tweet them, you can put them on Instagram. Any kind of questions you want. Like literally anything. They can be questions for Alex, they can be questions for me, they can be couple questions, whatever you want. Uh, leave questions down below in the comment section, I'll start compiling a list. You can tweet them to me, whatever. Q&A will be going up next week. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.